when I decided to leave Counterlogic Gaming. I did it because the company that acquired us got to the point where even though I could have made a lot of money and even though I stood to gain a lot in terms of reputation, I knew that it wasn't going to make me happy and it wasn't cohesive to my values to stay with the company. So I left. Could have made way more money. I could have been more powerful or whatever, but I just left. I went to go pursue something that meant more to me. And all throughout my life, I remember something my dad told me. He told me that when you're doing business, make sure that whatever business you're doing is something that you can wake up in the morning, you can look yourself in the mirror and you can be proud of. And if there's one lesson that I would hope to impart on other people, I think it is that you should stay true to your values no matter what the material gain is going to be. When you hear that, it sounds like, yeah, that makes sense. I should stay true to my values. But once you get into the mix of it, it's harder. You'll get the opportunity to take a little bit of money here and there, to do something that you probably shouldn't do, it's a little bit unethical, and get a little bit of gain. But if you choose in each one of those little micro instances to not pursue material gain and live to your values, you will, at the end of the day, be much happier. And my recent decision to leave the D&D show that I'm on is another one of those decisions, knowing that the exposure is great, the brand growth is great, lots of people discover me through this, and those people then go on to watch me. But despite that, I know that staying on the show isn't authentic to my own values as a person. And so regardless of the personal cost, which in this case is high, I make the decision to leave on the basis that I want to be more authentic to my personal values. And there's a strange sense of peace that comes from doing that, from making a decision and being okay with that outcome. During the show, I spent a lot of time concerned about other people's negative opinions and just how those opinions reached me. And once I made the decision to stay true to my values and to leave, immediately it was like all of that negativity just washed off me. And that it doesn't matter what anybody really says about it because I'm living authentic to myself. I'm living really true to what I want to do. There's a power that comes from that that you just can't get if you continuously fold and make decisions for other people's enjoyment or other people's betterment. I always try to live my life as close as I can to adding value to other people and just creating a little bit of happiness in the world. Sometimes, though, you have to take a step back and say, if I can't approach this positively, am I really going to be able to show up positively for everybody that comes out to see this show or this performance or this thing I'm creating? And the truth is that if I can't be my best self because I'm not living to my own ideals, then there's no way that I can bring my best self to the fore when I do a show. So I can only hope that I added a little bit of happiness to everybody that watched the D&D show, and I can only hope that I added a little bit of value to people that wanted to be a part of this arc of our journey. And I can still do lots of other arcs, and there's still going to be a lot more to come. I have so much time and so much I want to do and so much I want to create. And I just want to say that all I feel right now for this entire opportunity on the Dungeons and Dragons show is absolute gratitude. Gratitude that I was able to be on a show with large influencers who helped me get discovered. Gratitude that I was able to learn so much about myself and 
how to deal with difficult communities as well as better myself as a person, all of the constructive criticism that reached me as a result of this entire thing. Just nothing but gratitude for this. And while it might be sad that some things have to end, I'm much rather that it ends on a great note that everybody's excited about and talking about rather than it just kind of fading off into nothingness and people like barely remembering the end of it. Because I think there's a distinct difference between ending the show when it's on season two or three and it's going amazing. I always remember when Jerry Seinfeld was offered $50 million to do another episode of Seinfeld, but he knew, he knew when it was done. Dave Chappelle was offered some absurd amount of money to keep the Chappelle show on for another season. He knew when it was done. And I know when I'm done with this show and I feel super good about walking away. Despite the fact that I know I will get a lot of negativity. I'm really enthusiastic about the future, and I hope you will continue to join me in all of the things we do together on the broadcast, on YouTube, in Nerd Fusion, and there's a lot of exciting things in the future. So if there's anything I have to say, it's thank you. I'll see you guys again next time.